Hi, and welcome to my class, Python Jumpstart by Building 10 Applications. In this class, you're going to learn the Python programming language. But rather than just going through a bunch of details, here's what a variable is, here's what a loop is, there's the different kinds of loops, here's what a function is, all that kind of stuff that can really drown out and just sort of dull what you're trying to learn, become an awesome programmer so you can build applications, we're actually going to go straight to that. We're going to start building applications, and I've carefully selected some that will help you build up your knowledge. So we're going to start from the very beginning by building basic apps, and we'll build more and more complex ones. And along the way, you'll learn the Python programming language. So who is this course for anyway? Well, this course is for people who are already developers, but new to Python. Or maybe you're just starting out in programming, you know a little bit of Python. Or you could be a college student or some kind of scientist, like if you're a physicist or political scientist, and you need to learn some Python to work with the data science tools, well, this course will give you that solid foundation. Maybe you're even an intermediate Python developer, but you've only been focusing on one part of the language or the capabilities. This course is helpful even for people who are just considering software programming. Python is the most popular language for teaching programming, and this course will definitely give you a good introduction to it. So who am I, and why should you take my course anyway? Hi. My name is Michael Kennedy. I'm the host of the Talk Python to Me podcast, which is the most popular and well-known Python podcast out there. I'm also a professional software trainer, and I've had over 10 years of experience. My students have loved my courses throughout the years, and I'm sure you'll like the ones I'm building for you on Kickstarter. So when I thought about building an online course, I wanted to make sure it was the best, most engaging course that I could create. So I asked the question, why do we stop learning? Well, when people are trying to learn programming, I think it's very hard to stay motivated because you're down in the details, learning the syntax and all the little nuanced details that you have to know to do a programming language. But often you focus solely on those things and it's hard to connect them. It's hard to remember what you've learned and you don't really get a chance to apply that till the end. That makes it difficult to connect all the pieces as well as just to retain what you've learned. So instead of teaching a class that's just a bunch of bullet points features, what we're going to do is we're going to learn like real programmers. What do real programmers do? They solve real concrete problems, and they build applications that achieve a goal. And as they build these applications, they accumulate these skills that let them build new and more interesting apps. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to start building applications, and you'll learn all the details as we go. So what are we going to build? We're going to start with a Hello World application. And that is not so much just to teach you the very basics of a Hello World app. This is to make sure that your environment is working and you're ready to do everything else. We're going to build a little app that's a, a number game that works with conditionals and user input and those kind of stuff, a guess the number game. We're going to build a birthday app that keeps track of people's birthdays and works with dates and times. We're going to build a personal journal where you can record journal entries. This will work with file I.O. and text files. We're going to build a weather client. This will go out to some service on the internet, pull back some data based on where the current user is located, and actually dynamically get their weather real time. That'll be really fun. We're going to build a lolcat factory. It'll generate interesting, funny pictures of cats off of services on the internet, and it'll let us work with binary files. We're going to build a wizard D&D type of game. Very simple one, but still a wizard game. This, in this one, we'll learn about classes and inheritance and polymorphism and all that kind of object-oriented stuff. We're going to build a file searcher app that'll let you search files on your hard drive. We're going to build a real estate investor app that'll let you ask questions about what the average price of a home in a certain region is. Here you're going to learn things like working with files and more Pythonic concepts such as list comprehensions and generator expressions. And finally, we'll build a movie ratings app that will let you look up movies. And in here, we're going to work with exceptions and error handling, and again, with clients and, and services on the internet. So by going through building out these 10 applications, you're going to learn a ton. And yet you'll be applying it the whole time. It won't be a bunch of disconnected details. So you might be wondering, just by building these apps, will I learn the basics, all the things I need to know? Oh, yes. Here are just some of the things that we're going to cover in this class. You can see this is quite comprehensive. And each one of these core concepts is backed by visuals. We'll talk about this concept that I refer to as truthiness. Objects in Python are either true or false. And there's a whole bunch of rules about what is false. For example, 
empty collections, or the number zero, or obviously false. And then pretty much everything else is true. And so you'll have a nice visual like this to talk about that. Similarly, when we get into conditionals and using those tests, here's a, a nice little visual that will take a moment and talk about what it means to have conditional statements like if else statements or loops and, and those sorts of things. So the time to act is now. I want you to become the Python developer you've always wanted to be. Join this Kickstarter today and learn one of the most popular programming languages in the world and have fun while you're doing it.